Hey everyone, Wheels here with a reminder to subscribe because there's still 91% of you watching right now that aren't subbed to the channel. It's completely free and helps me out a lot. Thanks everyone, enjoy the video. From the 35 and early third and 10, Slovis steps into one. It is intercepted! The Amador Lenore with a pick for Oregon. There's a flag down as he takes it inside the 20. Missed, missed inside of it. So the Los Angeles native Lenore comes up with a pick. The flag on the return going to go on USC. Yeah, so just a bad miss here inside by Slovis. Lenore jumps the route and then jumps the ball. You'll see him at the top of your screen on the right. Sits on it, triggers. Just a flat miss that's late and inaccurate. Double dip and the face mask. Sets Oregon up in business. Yeah, that is not something they've done much this season. In fact, coming into the game, Oregon with four ticks. Red comes in motion. Brown looks one way, dumps it over the top. It's Red breaking a tackle for the touchdown. And how about that for Anthony Brown's Oregon debut? His first play is a touchdown pass to Jalen Red. Everybody on that SC sideline says he's going in to run the rock. Great little whoop whoop by Joe Moorhead to change it up. Watch the action will come here and then back out against man coverage. He's unaccounted for. The DB was running the opposite, opposite way. Great finish through Talano, Talano who fungled by Red. After the interception, which the point from Cattleman is good. And just like that, it's seven. They're yeah, going right back to step. He's got a first down. Second down and eight. Slovis well protected. Again, good coverage downfield and another interception. Jamal Hill this time. Three drives for the Trojans, two picks and a punt. Yeah, just again, just a poor decision here for Keaton Slovis. I thought he had his, you just gotta take care of the rock. You got your back out to the right, who's wide open, or just throw the ball away. That can't be your answer, the late lob downfield. I mean, he's had a lot of time, but back-to-back -back die carries. Stays on his feet, gets a first down inside the 15. Came a running back for the first time. Chuck looks his way, now scans the field. A wide open Hunter Campmoyer, and the tight end's got a touchdown. All ducks early on here in the Pac-12 championship. Yeah, just a little double move here from Sh from Shuck. Looking to the field, flinching the screen. Campmore is baiting him like it's going to be a total screen to the boundary. Works into the back of the end zone and does a great job of finishing. As it looks like he's holding. Here's the bait. Set up the screen pass to Devin Williams there. Campmore, great finish in the end zone. And defensive end. It's his third touchdown out of those 10 catches. Car swings out this time. It opens up a window for Drake London. And London has a first down. 6'5, 210 pounds, and he just keeps on getting better, doesn't he? Yeah, we've got a late flag here. And it is Marquis Step dropped in the backfield by Thibodeau. Unblocked and dropped for a. And coverage by everybody. There's a free safety in the back end there. Car on second down has room and has a first down as Pickett comes up from his safety spot to get the team. Oregon rushes only three. Still able to move him off his spot. Slovis keeping the play alive, keeping his eyes downfield, turning the shoulders, finding St. Brown first down. Second catch of the drive for St. Brown. Slovis to throw again. The defender fell, and St. Brown is wide open, diving for the goal line. Touchdown, USC! Well, they were down 14 nothing last week against UCLA when they got the big play from London. Down 14 nothing here, and they get back-to-back -back big plays from St. Brown. And you said it, the DB just flat falls down. Good route here by Almond Ra. It's Lenore, the interceptor earlier, flipping his hips and just loses control. And Slovis takes advantage. I thought we felt, I thought we had a whistle right before that play. I thought so too. And you could hear every Jordan on Scott taking it. Three Lewis. And it's 14-7. Car into the game and running back. Slovis steps up in trouble and he's sacked again. Oregon's defensive line getting the job done. This time it's Brandon. Once again, he's got a punt out of their own end zone and might have gotten a piece of that. If they did. 
very short punt, although it takes a USC bounce. All things considered, Trojans gonna feel okay about the fact they get that thing in empty. With Die coming in motion, and taking him a swing, trying to get him in space. And he's got close to his season average per time. <laughs> Brings out to the short side of the field. Opens up a window for the crosser. It's Micah Pittman for an Oregon first down. Chuck keeps it. Dumps it into the flats. The tight end, D.J. Johnson. He's in for the touchdown. That's two touchdowns for the tight end room. Campmoyer gets one, and now Johnson gets one. From 16 yards. So two tight ends, two converted deep. Got for all those guys from the rest of the yeah, It's another example of the Ducks taking advantage of the... This drive begins with a quick game throw to Brew McCoy. And the freshman lowers the shoulder, has a first down. Slovis quick trigger to London. Great London. Continues to fight for it. He's got a Trojan first down and a gain of seven. And Blitz coming, picked up, gives him time to find London for a first down. Out of an empty set, just a three-man rush. Slovis with time, finds London, first down, and he's turning. She's got free safety in the end zone, everybody else playing man coverage. Fake to McCoy, throw to the end zone. Gary Bryant right at the goal line. They spot him inside the one. Marquis step into the game. Marquis step into the end zone for the USC touchdown. Liam Jimmins a key block over the right side of that line. And the Trojans punch it in to draw back to within a score. Yep, and that's how quickly it can happen with these guys. A big play to the, one of their unsung receivers. And now watch step here. Big back finish it front side. That DB's just too late to the party. Lenore's got to be up. Down drives have been at least 80 yards. Extra point from the true freshman Parker Lewis. Bring it from the boundary. They run it. Travis dies straight ahead. Keeps on plugging and gets a first down. How about running for a first? 215 pounds coming downhill to get a first down. A minute seven. If Oregon will have the ball to begin the second half. Here's a corner blitz. Chuck steps up, delivers an interception. It's Mauga for the Trojans. Kanai Mauga into Oregon territory. Gets some blocks, cuts it back. The high school running back showing off some of that ability. All the way to the 26. And USC with a chance to flip things late in the first half. QB's kind of taking, taking their opportunities to, to make a huge mistake. Shot comes off his, his, his primary key. Back to a late down the middle situation. You see the SC defense all over it. Take a sack here, Keaton Slovis. Oregon bringing some pressure. Slovis steps up. On the move, throwing for the end zone. Lance Vons, but it's over his head, and it's fourth down. 41-yarder. Hits it with confidence, but fades to the right and no good. Plenty of distance, but wide to the right. And Oregon able to escape. Uh, USC gonna... Opening drive of the second half. Fourth down and in inches. Brown off play action. Turns the shoulders and throws for a first down to D.J. Johnson. Dollars again. Shifting his way to the hole. Spinning for close to a first down. Olamau, the tackle. On third down and five. They're bringing pressure. It's a screen. Johnny Johnson steps out of the tackle. Stays on his feet and makes it first down and goal. Third down and goal. Round to throw again. Lofting back in the end zone. Touchdown. Travis Dye had broken loose. Raymond Scott lost him in coverage, and Dye found the end zone. Just a great clinic here by Joe Moorhead, bluffing the back. Watch the back come across here, bluff, and then go to the back of the end zone. Again, against zero blitz. Drake Jackson does not explode and finish through Anthony Brown. Anthony Brown. With a couple oh. touchdown passes. Got him in extra point is there, and it's 20 in hand. And it have been paying off. Third down and long. All over the middle. Looking for Bruce McCoy. And a flag's going to come out. The Amador Lenore got a piece of it before the ball arrived. Yeah. Missed opportunity for the Trojans. Outside they go. St. Brown for first down. First down pass against pressure. Slovis rolling to his right. Open man. It's London in the middle of the field. Breaks a tackle and gets a first down inside the 35. 
Drake London, 17 more. Slovis waiting for something to come open. He'll let it go. Back in the end zone. Fight for the ball. Incomplete. Drake London is from 21. This one's good. But they do settle for three. They cut it to 28-17. But he is back there. And here is an onside kick. Fielded by Brew McCoy. Can't advance it, but, yeah. The Trojans pull off the little butt. Yeah. A little onside kick and come up with it. Perhaps a game-changing play on special teams. <laughs> three for ten tonight. Slovis pressure from behind and sacked. Kayvon Thibodeau again. And even with everybody up tight, they hand it off to Habibi Likio. He's going to do it again in this one. That one is almost blocked, and then Tom Snee gets straight up tackled by Hufanga. No chance to, zero chance to block that. Personal foul, roughing the kicker, receiving team number 15. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Some key penalties on USC tonight, none bigger than this. Guy just gets in that no man's land and sort of. John Dollars, nice cut into open space, and the freshman has a first down. Dollars crosses that in motion. Travis Dodd bounces off one man. Can't get away from Max Williams. Another nearby Topanga. Hits it right down the middle. How about that for a guy who never even played football? Marquis Stepp. Trying to get outside, reaches for the sticks. Nice tackle by Slovis has needed a completion tonight. He's found London. What does he go to here? Steps up, delivers. It's Brew McCoy this time to pick up fourth down. McCoy. First down and 10. Slovis retreating, checking down Stephen Carr. Makes a man miss and has room. Stephen Carr makes it first and goal. Motions into the formation. Here's another fourth down try. McCoy again at the goal line and in. Touchdown, USC. They're within a score as they try to come from behind again. Nice job with the motion action here for SC to try to just get a little off coverage, just a little out route. Surprised that Mikel Wright's given that much room that close. Parker Lewis. And it's a seven-point game. Chuck back to throw. Only a three-man rush. Coverage downfield is tight. Lobs it up for grabs and incomplete. <laughs> was up top. Slovis, wide side. Vaughn's first catch of the night for Tyler Vaughn's, and he crashes forward for On first and ten, Slovis looks to throw. He'll heave one. Lots Boom McCoy having a big night through his hands. Second and ten. Slovis looking for Vaughn's. He's got it again. First down to the 41. They fake the draw. Slovis in trouble. Makes a man miss to extend the play. Now trying to get away from Mace Funa. He throws incomplete off of Hill's hands. Well, I'll tell you, I think the left foot is down when he regains control. The right foot, I'm sorry, he's going to get control. Toe was still down there. I think it's an interception. Wow. After review, the pass was intercepted by Oregon at the 31-yard line. To do. The BB Likio has a first down. Oregon keeps it in the ground. It's a BB Likio. Pulled down. Gain of just in front. Counting on that pass rush again. Still bringing three. And Bill McCoy at the 42-yard line brings it out of bounds. Well, it's there if they want to take it. And Slovis will to the sideline. McCoy at the 49-yard line with three. Final play bar to penalty. Slovis retreating. Going to have a hard time getting this thing away. He does. But a flag flies. As an offensive lineman makes the catch in Andrew Voorhees. And he will flip it off. The whistle blows. The game is over. And Oregon is going to win the Pac-12 championship. Intentional grounding offense number nine. The penalties declined. The game has ended. Back-to-back -back Pac-12 championships for the Ducks. And now 4-0 all-time in Pac-12 championship games.